In many African countries, corruption is a significant problem, and certain countries have been shown to have exceptionally high levels of corruption. There is disagreement about which African nation is the most corrupt because various rankings and metrics may produce different conclusions. However, Somalia, South Sudan, and Sudan are among the nations that numerous studies have consistently rated as having significant levels of corruption. These nations' high rates of corruption are a result of their lax rule of law, transparent and accountable governance, and weak legal systems. The Corruption Perceptions Index CPI, is a ranking that assesses countries on a rating scale from 0, highly corrupt, to 100, highly clean, in terms of perceived corruption levels worldwide. Welcome back to our YouTube channel and thank you for joining us. In this video, we will look at 10 of the most corrupt countries in Africa. If you are new to this channel, do well to like and share the video and hit that subscribe button to join our channel. Number 10. Guinea-Bissau. Over the years, Guinea-Bissau has experienced severe problems with corruption. The nation is frequently listed among the most corrupt in both Africa and the entire world. In Guinea-Bissau, corruption is rampant and has an impact on several fields, including public administration, law enforcement, politics, and the judiciary. Political unrest and recurrent military incursions have plagued Guinea-Bissau, which has led to a corrupt culture. Political corruption encompasses misappropriation of public finances, bribery, nepotism, and abuse of authority. Public institutions, such as the government, courts, and security forces, lack transparency. When there are no strong systems of accountability, corruption can flourish. The country has a corruption perception index of 21. Number 9. Chad. In Chad's political system, corruption is pervasive. This covers power abuse, bribery, nepotism, and misappropriation of public monies. Public servants and political figures have been linked to corruption scandals. Natural resources abound in Chad, especially oil. But the extractive industry's corruption and poor management have hampered the nation's progress. Allegations have been made regarding the embezzlement and diversion of oil income, resulting in a reduction of the population's expected benefits. Chad's institutions, the legal system and law enforcement in particular, have difficulties in effectively battling corruption. The methods involved in public procurement are opaque, which creates room for corruption. The country has a corruption perception index of 20. Number 8. Comoros. Comoros has suffered from inefficient institutions and poor governance, which have complicated efforts to fight corruption. The country has a corruption perception index of 20. Corrupt practices continue to exist because there are insufficient procedures for accountability and openness. In Comoros, political corruption is one of the biggest problems. There have been documented cases of power abuse, misappropriation of public monies, and bribery. Prolonged periods of political instability and frequent leadership changes have created an atmosphere that is favorable to corruption. In Comoros, corruption hinders growth and the country's economy. It stifles foreign investment, erodes public confidence, and takes funds away from vital industries like infrastructure, healthcare, and education. Number 7. Sudan. In Sudan, corruption is seen in many different forms, such as nepotism, bribery, extortion, and embezzlement. There have been protracted conflicts in Sudan, especially in areas like South Kordofan and Darfur. The exploitation of natural resources, such as gold, oil, and land, has been linked to corruption, which exacerbates conflicts and impedes efforts to promote peace. Sudan has experienced problems with inefficient institutions and poor governance, which have encouraged corruption. Corrupt practices persist in part because there are insufficient procedures for accountability, transparency, and enforcement. The Sudanese government was charged in 2022 with embezzling millions of cash meant for the COVID-19 pandemic response. The country has a corruption perception index of 20. Number 6. Burundi. In Burundi, there is a great deal of corruption in the public sector, particularly in the courts, public administration, and public procurement. It's said that favoritism, bribery, and kickbacks are widespread activities. Government agents and security personnel frequently threaten to arrest or detain people or companies if they do not pay money in exchange for financial extortion. A former finance minister was given a 20-year prison term by a Burundian court in 2022 for embezzling public monies. The most prevalent kind of corruption in Burundi is bribery, which is necessary to get numerous official services like business licenses, passports, and visas. The nation's corruption perception index is 19. Number 5, DR Congo. 
Natural resources abound in the Democratic Republic of Congo, including minerals like cobalt, copper, and diamonds. Unfortunately, the extractive industry has been beset by corruption and poor management, which has resulted in illicit financial flows, unlawful mining operations, and the misuse of funds intended for public use. The nation's corruption perception index stands at 19. The Democratic Republic of Congo's government was charged in 2020 with using nepotism to award contracts. There have been protracted battles in the DRC, especially in the eastern region of the nation. The exploitation of natural resources has been linked to corruption, which exacerbates conflict and adds to instability. The impoverished and defenseless suffer disproportionately from corruption because they are less able to pay bribes or resist extortion. Number 4. Equatorial Guinea. Equatorial Guinea has a high level of political corruption globally, ranking among the worst nations on the planet. It's been called an almost perfect kleptocracy, with systematic corruption and leaders that don't care about the welfare of the people putting it at the bottom of every major governance index or ranking, below countries with comparable GDPs per capita. The nation consistently scores close to the bottom of Transparency International's Corruption Perceptions Index due to the high levels of corruption. On a scale of 180 countries, the highest-ranked nation is thought to have the most honest public sector, in 2022, just nine countries ranked lower. It is the only nation in the world since 2008 to receive a score of zero for budget transparency. Its Corruption Perception Index as of 2022 is 17. Number 3, Libya. For businesses operating in Libya, corruption is a major barrier. Although rampant corruption affects every sector of the Libyan economy, the public procurement and oil industries are the most severely afflicted. All industries engage in widespread practices of bribery and favoritism, and companies may face unfair competition from state-owned enterprises that also control a large portion of the local market. Under Gaddafi's leadership, corruption was pervasive, and in the years following the revolution, things have only gotten worse. The country of Libya is currently seeing a growing degree of corruption due to the conflict between two opposing regimes. As of 2022, its corruption perception index is 17. Number 2, Somalia. East Africa's most corrupt nation is Somalia, which ranks second in Africa overall. A significant problem is insecurity, which is caused by dishonest government officials who accept illicit activity in exchange for bribes. A climate of lawlessness is fostered by dysfunctional institutions, and the lack of any kind of regulatory framework impedes the possibility of economic competitiveness. Somalia had a score of 13 out of 100 on Transparency International's 2022 Corruption Perceptions Index. Although bribery, embezzlement, and abuse of office are among the corruption offenses made illegal by Somalia's provisional constitution, their enforcement is non-existent. Number 1, South Sudan. South Sudan is among the worst levels of corruption worldwide. The kleptocratic structure that the country's elites have created dominates every aspect of the South Sudanese economy. The Dura Saga, as it is known, has been the biggest corruption scandal since the start of self-rule, but there have been numerous more noteworthy cases of comparable misconduct. The greatest source of revenue for the country, the extractive sector is not handled and transparently lacking. The primary source of hard cash for the government is oil, which also acts as collateral for the foreign loans that sustain its economy. South Sudan had a score of 11 out of 100 on Transparency International's 2022 Corruption Perceptions Index. These incidents have nearly never led to legal action or punishment and are frequently cloaked in mystery. Elites take advantage of the shaky financial sector in the nation by using it as a means of revenue generation and money laundering. Elites in South Sudan have a significant financial sector involvement, particularly in the form of speculating in the parallel currency market, which devalues the country's currency and fuels inflation. Comprehensive reforms are needed to combat corruption in Africa. These reforms must increase institutional capacity, encourage accountability and openness, and promote governance. Enforcing anti-corruption legislation, retrieving pilfered assets, and putting in place efficient supervision frameworks are vital. To combat corruption and advance good governance principles, international collaboration and support are essential. Effectively combating corruption also requires efforts to form a cohesive administration and to record ability. Thank you for watching to the end. Please do well to leave a review and comment on what you think about this video. Until next time, stay safe.